Now you've seen the introduction on how the clip champ works and you're wondering how am I going to step into one particular interesting thing that everyone seems to do when it comes to instructional learning or the internet or in terms of delivery lessons. This here comes from our understanding of how screenshots or screen recording works using the clip champ. And so looking at this implies the following. First is that we have two ways by which we can approach this. One way is by on your interface, we have the plus sign. Once you click on that, you'll be able to have these options right here. And these options actually shows you a particular tab that says record your camera or screen. Or you can do it the other way around, which is using this particular tab. Once you click on record and create, we have these options ready to go. Now we have either screen recording if you want that only, but if you want screen and camera, which is what I have right here in this particular timeline, then you can actually go with that particular option. One interesting cool thing about this is it has a little image demo on the surface of the tab. Like for example, this is how screen and camera looks like. If you just camera recording, this is how it looks like. In terms of screen recording, only the screen is going to be shown and text to speech is another one that is an added one right here. So now let's look at how to screen and use the camera in here. So once you click on this arrow, you actually have this particular interface I shown where you have additional application is using your camera. Now close all the applications and reopen this window. And we have a couple of options here before you hit the record. One is change the default for your audio and the right side is for your camera so in this case i'm going to use this webcam and in this case i'm going to use my blue snowball microphone and once i click on this for the drop down you have other options for your camera likewise for your audio for your in this case recording you can use the microphone options that are available now once you have this and you click on what we click on the record button now because i'm using a different application to record this particular video i'm going to switch it up to this particular clip champ recording software so that i can use this to generate the screen recording feature right here so let's begin now i've changed it to the clip champ we're going to see how it looks like and you see that it is now ready to roll which means that we have to check that there is nothing in your teeth of course there's nothing in my teeth there's another one that says hit the big red button once ready choose a screen and tab or app to record of interest you won't see your camera while recording and finally you can edit your layout after you're finished and so once you've seen this there's one interesting bonus here to keep in mind it means that whatever mistakes that you make over the recording process, we need to know that the recording limit is 30 minutes. So if you go more than 30 minutes, it means that you have to add another 30 minutes or between 0 to 30 minutes. And so once you have this set up, you can then have this toggle that shows you how you want to scale your camera recording. And so you can do that by tapping on it and it increases or you tap once and it decreases. And once you have that, then you can hit the record. And once you hit record, this tells you which one you want to record. Is it this particular screen, which is my screen one, or we have screen two, which is this one right over here. And if I click on this, then I will choose this. You can have the option for what particular window of interest you want to share or a particular tab of interest that you want to share. So in this case, I'm going to go with the entire screen and once we have that we click on screen two and finally we can go to hit share and what that is going to look like is like this where it's now currently recording in process this kind of looks similar a little bit to what we have from the software google meets and that is one interesting thing that it kind of brings back memories of now it's kind of a little bit laggy of course because i'm using two different recording software in this process but here once you go into the details you can actually see the mouse moving you can also see how you are moving from one tab to another and most importantly when it comes to writing that is one interesting thing i get challenged by is how is the writing going to look like on this particular software so let's say if i want to write 
you in here you write um you it's a little bit wonky let's put it that way but overall it looks promising when it comes to how the recording works now once you're done with this what you do is you go to the big red button and you click on that and you're done once you're done next is you can retake the recording or you can save and edit that will be the next step and once you click on save and edit you're going to have automatically your downloaded version to be either shown on this side of the screen or on the other hand we have here which shows you the not only camera recording but also we have what we have the screen recording that is right below and so here are a couple of things that are shown right here and one additional thing here to keep in mind is when looking at this you can pick either this or that but once you pick that particular camera version you can tap on your screen as well and you can adjust it to how large or small you want it and it's really amazing to see this feature actually shown right here other things is that you can click on fit to let it you know uh, reveal on the entire screen to fill up the entire screen you can you can just adjust it back to how it was before it doesn't really matter at all so however you feel like going for you go for it for cropping you can select the part that you want and you can select out the ones that you don't want and once you hit check you're done or you click on revert to original you go for it so i'll click on done i like it this way it's much better and once you have this what else do we have we have picture in picture you can have that you can rotate these house however you want you can flip horizontal in case you want this to face right over here then it means that flipping to horizontal means that it's going to be looking at the screen on the other end and you can flip vertically no one wants to do that vertically it doesn't make sense but <laughs> that's how it looks like just in case yeah maybe for comedic relief if you want to play it off that way but yeah that is how it looks like right here now for volume you can adjust the volume here on the right side of your screen in terms of audio and other things as well that can follow remember that this is for deleting your assets or you can add to timeline which once you click on that we can actually add to a timeline as you see right over here so in here i don't need this i can just delete this and once you delete it then you're good and it's back to how it was before so now the same thing that we did for the camera view is also applicable to the screen view once you click on it right there and so you can make those same adjustments as you want you can also see that on the right side of your interface you have a couple of interesting icons that you can play around with like this tab has a filter you have the fade in and fade out in here in terms of filters we have different formats and it's awesome because you don't have to click on it you can just hover around and you can see what filter best fits your style of recording in terms of the screen recording also we have adjustments of color in terms of exposure saturation temperature contrast and you can actually have blend mode in terms of normal opacity or you can reset it to however that you want and then speed you can actually go either in terms of slow or fast depending on how you want to shrink a specific clip or not and so these are the things to keep in mind if you want to play these to see whether there is a cool flow of that particular recording that you already had because when we recorded before you had some little glitching moments here and there maybe this is because it's still at the primary stage in terms of the software but let's see how it looks like while i'm actually writing down a specific tax and the movement of the mouse and when you see that the mouse movement is not that bad it's okay and then when you look at how i'm trying now to about writing down something and you see the mouse moving from one step to the other and you can actually see the mouse moving exactly while i'm writing so this is perfect for me because sometimes anytime i use other software the mouse cursor doesn't move and it freezes while you just see the pen writing the result without the cursor showing the 
or following the writing pattern. So this is really incredible here for me to actually dive into in terms of delivering lessons. So I'm really loving what I'm seeing so far and I'm also interested to know your thoughts about this particular software when it comes to screen recording a video and also in collaboration with the camera. And do you think that this is actually a really strain on your particular digital device that you're using like for example i'm using a 16 gigabyte and if you applying this to a 8 gigabyte i don't know how easy flowing it would be or how is the speed of that particular this is it going to be glitchy or it'll be lagging while you're using this particular software i'm really interested to know your thought about this when you apply it on any different ram style of devices that you have right there so Hit the comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts about this feature and all the interesting um, tools that are available in terms of recording. Is there anything I missed or you found something really cooler in terms of recording a video alongside screen recording? Please jump down into the comment section and let me know your thoughts about this. All the same, stay smart as always and believe in yourselves.